What's up guys, welcome back to the Curio Show and welcome to our Ask Us Anything Q&A video. First of all, I wanna thank you for joining us today. And if you recall, we asked you to submit any questions that you may have for Tanya and I. So we'll be answering those questions today. But before we start, I wanna mention that on February 11th, we uploaded our very first Randonautica video and we only had about 30 subscribers. And now, four and a half months later, we're at about 3,400 subscribers and we owe it all to you guys. Thank you so much for your support and Thank for watching our videos. I agree. Thank you guys. Today we'll be mentioning your names and your questions. And also we had to search all of our comments for all of your questions. So we apologize in advance if we miss any of your questions, guys. Also, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And with all that said, let's get started. I'm going to be asking the questions. Uh, please forgive me in advance if I mispronounce any names or any subscriber names because I'll be including those. So let me get started. I'm going to start with Randonautica first and then we'll go to personal. Okay. Sounds good? Yep. All right. So we're going to start with Desi Bunny Pink. Okay. And that is Desi and Omar. What was the creepiest thing you guys ever found doing Randonautica? The creepiest thing? Creepiest thing. We I, found a lot of things. I think the creepiest thing for me that we found was the uh, stalker backpack. That thing was really creepy only because that means there was somebody stalking women. They had their information in a notebook and they had everything to restrain these people in that bag. So to me that was the one of the creepiest yeah. what about you i have to agree um that was definitely very 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 creepy i think what made it exceptionally creepy was that they had women when they left the women's names what they drove when they left yeah when they got home they even knew when the husbands came and left yeah when yep. they went to lunch that is super creepy and just very uncomfortable and, and you're right they had those zip tie things yeah hand restraints hand restraints. and guys we did turn in the that backpack, backpack the it was day after in. we the day after we yeah. found it to the police and we have not heard anything back so yeah. we don't know but that was definitely i i agree that was yeah. definitely the most the creepiest thing we found this next question is from amy goodman okay do you watch any other randonauts on youtube yeah, we do. We do watch um, several other randonauts on YouTube. Mm -hmm. We you know, like to watch them. We love. That's we what love got watching, us started. That we love to watch randonautica mm -hmm. videos on YouTube. So yes, we do. We go from the big guys and to the little guys. We watch all channels. Yeah. Okay. Amy Goodman has multiple questions. This is the next question. Question. Sorry. Do you believe in cryptic? creatures for example bigfoot goatman and skinwalker and i'll let you answer this one too you know i've never seen any <laughs> anything in my life as far as cryptic creatures but i i do tend to believe you know in and that type of stuff you just never know you know there's so many stories out there um but yeah i keep my mind open to that type of stuff what about you um, I've never seen anything either in my life, but I, I think there's a Bigfoot somewhere out there. I don't know where, but he's somewhere out there. <laughs> we just haven't found him yet. Okay, and our third question, and I'm going to answer this one. Do you have any close friends that rand or not? And no, we don't. We don't have any close friends that rand or not. We were just random, not alone. Yep, we're the only ones yeah. that we know of locally within our family and locally that, you know, play random nautica. Yep. Alrighty. The next question is from Tracy Johnson. What made you guys do random nautica? Go ahead. I think it goes back to the fact that we watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of random nautica videos on YouTube. And we just learned to like Randonautica a lot, and that you know they inspired us to, to go out it, yeah. and try it. 
you know, we went out one day on our anniversary. Mm -hmm. We went out to eat and we decided to go play Randonautica for oh the first God, time. That was just a crazy, that was so, it was, the, it was the, yeah, the it was disaster. a bad video, but, <laughs> but, but hey, that's fun. what got us started. That was the start mm -hmm. of our journey. Um, we turned the wrong way and oh my god, it, yeah. was, it was fun though. We and that's when fun. we were using our tablet to record so the videos were very shaky. But hey, like I said, it, it's what got us here to where we're at now and to, you know, we got to meet you guys. So that's awesome. That's correct. The next question is, and it'll be for both of us, from Nikki Sullivan. What was your favorite find while randonauting? Man, my favorite find, there's there's several, but I guess my favorite find was the alien head that I found in our extraterrestrial video. I just thought that was really, really cool, you know, especially since I have witnessed a UFO when I was a young boy. That thing was just amazing to me. It was awesome. What about you? There, there have been a lot of interesting things. You're right. Um, I would have to say that our intent was something political or something like that and it was that little puppet yeah. that was hanging around yeah i really like yeah, that, that creepy cool. little guy yeah. the cantinflas somebody mentioned his that he looked like cantinflas that cantinflas little puppet i liked yeah. him and i enjoyed messing with the puppet i just that's been my favorite find right. i don't know why and it reminds still, me of my childhood and we still have him guys so yeah hopefully, he's hanging around <laughs> hopefully in the future we we might plan a an auction one day for Maybe. some of our finds yeah. so we're still thinking about it though we'll let you know yeah the next question is from felicia rodriguez if you could go randonauting anywhere in the world where and it would be for both of us where would you go johnny i think uh i hadn't never thought about that but thinking about it now i think i would like to rando not in germany I just you've been there before. I so. like Germany. It's a very, it's a beautiful country. A lot of wooded areas, mountains, you know, snow, all types of stuff. It's, it's awesome. So I think it would be Germany, guys. That's awesome. That one's a difficult question for me. I'm kind of like the around the world in 50 days person. I'd want to go everywhere. I, I don't have one particular place. I'd, I'd want to hit Germany. I studied mm -hmm. German in high school. That was my foreign language, um, so I was interested in Germany for sure. Yeah. I'd want to go to France, I'd want to go to the Netherlands, I'd want to hit Australia, I'd want to hit Canada, I'd want to hit Alaska and Antarctica. Gosh, I'd want to hit Japan, definitely. Yeah, Japan would be nice. Japan, the UK, not forgetting that. Um, there's so many places I'd want to go. I can't think of just one place. There's so many places but pick, with... pick one, though. No. If I had to choose just one, it would be Japan. All right, cool. And I don't know. That's awesome. I just, there's something about Japan I really like. If I could take any vacation that I ever wanted to take, where would I want to go? I'd want to go to Japan. Yeah, that's cool. So that's where I, like, if I had to only choose one place, that's where I'd really want to go. Tell us where you would want to go randonauting in what country, guys. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. I'm already randonauting in the United States, and it doesn't ask what state. So, <laughs> and we were sent to Mexico. That's true. So that we, was unexpected. We went to another country already. The next question is from Sandra McKeon. Would you consider a themed series of randonaut videos? Some suggestions were urban legends, cryptoids, native to Texas, etc. Well, I've we've never really Discussed thought about or talked about. Yeah any themed uh, episodes could we but do? it could World be something to for us to think about and to do in the future guys um, okay the next question comes from zero 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 um, have you experienced anything negative in your personal life because of randonautica and she says she wants the person wants to I don't know if it's he or she they want to try it but their daughter said that it brings negative energy back home with you so they just wanted to ask someone who who uses it that's willing to answer mm -hmm. well no we've never experienced anything negative because of playing around the nautica i mean we've we've encountered stalker notes yeah. and stalker 
things that the stalker leaves for us but that's about nothing it. has really ever followed Happy us days. home not at home no negative energy that we've uh, mm -hmm. uh, seen or felt not so that we know of at least that I we mean know that of. we've noticed no. yeah so I mean but it's up to you you know it, it's a fun game just stay safe and use positive intentions use common sense play during the day don't play alone yeah, and yes yeah, stay with positive intentions and you should be okay okay the next question comes from the beachcomber and the question is have you ever tried searching for a for a known missing person in your area and I'll answer that no we have not no. I know that's one of the intents been submitted several times and unfortunately we, we haven't it hasn't been randomly chosen yeah so. since we randomly choose our intentions you know we just have to go by yeah. that yeah. you know um, but no we've never searched for a known missing person maybe it maybe it, it's some it sounds like something you know that, would that we should be do worthwhile yeah. yeah so if we could help someone out most definitely right. who wouldn't want to help someone out but again I've said this before about 90% of the locations that we explore are all busts. Only a uh, 10% 10 to are, 15 are hits. Yeah. So we have to explore so many locations before we get a hit. It just takes a lot of patience and a lot of playing Randall Nautica. Yeah. Okay, so the beachcomber has a second question. Have you ever found a live owl while Randall nodding? No live owls. Not that we, not that we've seen. I mean, that we've been to so many places that have. I mean, we mainly have palm trees, and usually you don't find palm trees and owls. And the places that we've gone that have mesquite trees have always had a lot of grass around. So if yeah. there was something in there, I think we would have probably missed it unless it made noise. But no, we've never seen a, a live owl. But that would be awesome. Yeah. I would like really. That would be cool. Yep. Okay. The next question comes from. Dorothy Fournier of all the videos you've done what was your favorite I think Me? I think I know okay, for my opinion go ahead in my opinion my favorite was definitely our second video yeah because that's where we were able to manifest something uh, our intentions we knew we had a better feel for what we were doing we were paying a little more attention to which way we were we were turning we weren't so worried about everything that we were doing we were able to focus a little better in, in other words it was the second video was the very first time that we manifested our intentions yeah. guys so that was super exciting for it being the first time so that video is our favorite video because that's when we really got a feel for Randall Nautica and it really showed us what it's all about yep. so it was awesome our next question comes from Deborah Doolin. Have you ever thought of exploring abandoned or haunted houses? Mm, we've we've, we've thought talked, about we've it talked and about talked about it briefly. But we haven't looked into it. But we've never, yeah, we've never looked into it or planned anything like that. Um, not that we'll never do that. We might do that maybe in the future. But. Um, but it's on our list of ideas. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, second question. There's three questions from Miss Deborah. Do you believe in spirits? And that'll be for each of us. Go ahead. I do believe in spirits. I do as well. I definitely believe in spirits. Yeah. Good, positive and negative ones. Spirits just in general, I do believe. Yeah. Of course, positive and negative, but yeah, I do. I mentioned it in the previous video when I worked as a hospice nurse. That's right. You know, some of my patients would say that they could see uh, spirits or their family deceased, members, deceased family members at their bedside when they were close to passing away. So that really strengthened my belief in spirits. You know, so yeah. Okay, and the third question: Would you consider having a spirit box session? Yeah, I, I would. So. That would be interesting. Something I agree. awesome to do. Something different, and yeah. I, I'm open to that as well. Yep. We haven't tried it. We don't have the the equipment, the, the equipment but it's something I would be open to yeah, trying. Yeah, me too. It's worth trying. Okay, the next question 
comes from Kim Kenyon. Have you ever seen a ghost or had any paranormal experiences? Um, the only thing I have experienced is I heard a whisper in my ear. Somebody s say, hey, like, hey, into my ear. When I was walking oh. down the hallway, hey. <laughs> when I was walking down the did hallway at my expression? old house. Yeah, he okay. did. Okay. <laughs> and, but that's pretty much it. And I also, at times I used to feel something pulling at my toes when I was asleep. And it wasn't me, guys. And it wasn't Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, those are the only things that I've experienced in my life. I've never seen a ghost, you know, um, or any other paranormal experience? Paranormal, I don't know if a UFO would be considered paranormal or supernatural, but I have uh, witnessed a UFO when I was a young boy. So, okay. yes. As for me, no to Nothing. either of them. N never seen, never heard, never felt a ghost, no paranormal experiences. It's been pretty dull for me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, the next question comes from Magic Learn to Create with a Purpose and the question is have you ever thought about going randonating in another country and uh, I had never thought about it but we were sent to Mexico <laughs> this last time yeah. you know but we had never thought about it before then you know um, but like I said before Germany would be one country for me that I would like to randonaut in uh, not in Japan, Japan for Tanya. But we never thought we would be randonauting in another country at this point. Nope. <laughs> so that was Mexico took it us, was interesting. Us kind of for for there. But it was fun. Yeah. Okay. Um the next question comes from Total Addiction. Okay. Do you believe in UFOs? I believe in UFOs. I witnessed a UFO when I was young, so definitely, yep. And I, I've never witnessed anything, but I do believe in UFOs. I don't think Johnny has any reason to lie to me about seeing witnessing a UFO, and I do believe his story, so I, I do definitely yeah. believe there's something else out there. Yep. Um, there has to be. We live in such a huge universe. It's crazy, yep. Yeah. It's crazy. Total Addiction has... Um, Two more questions. The second question is, have you ever seen anything spooky like a ghost or a shadow person? Again, the only thing shadow I've never... Shadow person? I've never seen anything, but I just heard a whisper in my ear. But that that was it. I've never seen anything uh, paranormal at all. I Like I said, I've never seen the ghost. And honestly, shadow person... Gosh, if there was one, if there was a shadow person to be around, I'd probably miss it because I'm just <laughs> never really focused on much. So it's the truth. And the last question, and this one's hilarious: Do you have to fill up your truck every time you go around donating? Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, <laughs> we usually have to fill up before we start. Yeah. Playing randonautica. So oh, yes, nice. guys, definitely <laughs> fill up the tank. Okay. The next question comes from. Tiki Moon. You guys are such a sweet couple. Thank you. <laughs> Why do you do a crazy thing like rando nodding? Just so we can spend time together and do stuff out there. Something we like yeah, to do Yeah, we together. love rando nautica. Yeah. And you know what, guys? It's fun. The adventure searching we is don't, addicting. We don't have much else to do, so we do it as a hobby. Yeah. And we only live once, you know. I want to do the most I can while I'm still here. You know, me and Tanya have memories that we are making together and getting to meet you guys. Yeah, so it's been very there's rewarding. A, there's a lot of positives to that. But the main one is that life is short. You know, you never know when your day is gonna come. So do the most that you can. Yeah, I agree. But we just like the adventure. It's very, very addicting it's once you start. It's very exciting, yeah, yeah. addictive. You want to see what's out there and what you can find and if you can find and yeah it's just it's fun did you manifest your intent was it possible was it not it's really fun guys just just um wondering how randall nautica does does these things amazes me it blows my mind every time we find something 
you know, I just have that same feeling of amazement and just fascination, wondering how it could have manifested our intention. It's just yeah. awesome, guys. It's fun, yeah. Okay, our next question comes from G. H. Field. Will you guys try to expand your content, like move away from randonauting to paranormal? Mm. Possibly, but I mean, we're always going to do randonautica. It's what we enjoy doing. Yeah, that's why we started, you know, because of randonautica. You know, we of course we do want our channel to grow and expand. Um, we're starting to experiment with different types of content like with our vlogs yeah with our vlogs so you know we're barely starting to experiment with that so you know hopefully we'll be able to find uh something to be able to expand our channel and our content for you guys but Randall nautica will continue as always but we just hope to every sunday guys we just hope sunday to be able to, we just hope to be able to entertain you guys with some extra type content that we hope you enjoy yes it might not be randonautica based of course our vlogs but it's for those people who do want to know the extra side of where we live what we do just what our everyday yeah. life is like yep okay the next question comes from norma moreno are you ever scared of what you might find when the intent is a scary one no i really no, I don't feel scared. Um, I feel excited and anxious at times. Yeah, but I, I mean, fear, anxious. I think fear is always there uh, to a certain degree, but but I don't let that overpower my emotions. You know, I just feel excited and make sure we're always vigilant and watching our surroundings, you know, and we take it from there, guys. Yeah. I think I would be scared if I was playing alone without Johnny. I mm -hmm. think then things would be scarier for yeah. me and what I might find because I'm not sure I don't know I depend on Johnny a lot when we find stuff especially with the stalker so what would situations I do? yeah what would yeah. I do I wouldn't be on the ground searching for trackers that's for right. sure so stuff like that yeah I, I would be that would kind of creep me out yeah. and scare me the next question comes from Joel Kozak do you guys ever get creeped out while playing Randonautica late at night? That's the fun time. Not really. Not really. Yeah. No. I mean, we get creeped out at, in the moment when we find something creepy. Yeah. But, <laughs> but it doesn't creep us out when we're out there, you know, searching and playing. It's, like I said, it's fun and exciting. Some anxiety at times, but overall exciting. I agree. The next question comes from Shark Bait Paranormal Investigator. Have you guys ever met the people who made the Randonautica app? And then he gave us the link and no. No, we've never <laughs> met them. We're just a small channel. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we haven't. That pretty much covers Randonautica questions. There are some other questions that aren't so much necessarily personal per se as to us as a couple, but still more focused on us and our opinions not related to Randonautica. Mm -hmm. So now we'll get into those questions. Well, let me start. Let me just start on the page. Where is that? We have a question from Homeland Here Free. Here comes the juicy stuff, guys. <laughs> <laughs> a question from Homeland Freedom. Hi, guys. Have you all done? A video on seven wonders not yet no but not yet that sounds interesting I have to do some reach research on seven wonders but it sounds interesting I agree maybe in the future the next question comes from Tracy Gilder do the Border Patrol do body searches on the way back to the States N not normally not if you don't have anything suspicious if they find you suspicious for anything if you, if you look suspicious or are talking suspicious if you look like you might have stuff packed on under your clothing yeah then that makes you very suspicious right if if your so, body language as well you don't have to have anything 
Yeah. Obvious. If so, then they will. They'll take you they to a room. <laughs> take you in and search you. Yeah. Yes. If uh, Tracy has a second question, uh, another question. There's three questions. I'm sorry. If someone isn't in the system, like our facial recognition, is it hard to get across? Yeah. Yeah, it will be. It is. Uh, they I have mean, to investigate and make sure, find out who you really are. You have to have the proper documentation, for example. Even though we're in the system, we were still supposed to either have a passport or a driver's license and birth certificate. Yeah. Since we didn't have our birth certificate, but our facial recognition is there, we just had a lot, a lot of extra questioning, which unfortunately held up the line in back of us. But hey, yeah. we still got across, and y'all still got a video, and yeah. we didn't want to. Johnny didn't want to give up the intent at that point, so we went in. Yeah, that was too interesting to <laughs> pass up. But it it's more difficult if you do not have the required documents with you yeah the lack of documentation can actually they can detain you for you'll be sent for a certain amount of time so instead of being in the line to cross you'll have to go into the building into a separate room and you'll be questioned by one it alone by a separate officer. homeland security officer yep. yes it's not necessarily i don't know the I don't know if it's necessarily the Border Patrol agents at this point because their sign strictly says Homeland Security. Yeah. I don't know if they're one and the same or if they're considered separate. And her last, Tracy's last question is, is it dangerous to cross over? Well, this question I'm, I'm unsure of. If you're crossing... We don't know if you meant crossing over to the U.S. or crossing to oh, Mexico, Mexico or crossing See. illegally or legally, but... I, there's always danger in crossing. Yeah. Crossing um, illegally is definitely is, dangerous. Yeah, I mean that river, if you're going through the river, if you're going with smugglers, people, coyotes, the ones that smuggle people across, it's going to be very dangerous. For people like us that we're walking across the border, if we're going into Mexico, there's always danger when you're going yeah. into another country. Um, especially one that has problems with drug trafficking and cartels right yeah um but and crossing over to the u.s i mean we've we've seen remember when the cops came in from the mexican side or some people came and took that one person that was in front of us back yeah across we've seen people that a guy who has been in line in front of us waiting to get across to the u.s side and somebody came from the opposite side and like rounded him up and took him back and his girlfriend was all distraught naturally but he was waiting in line on the u.s yeah. to get on the u.s side already and he was only how many feet away would you say at that point he was just outside the doors yeah you're right so yeah there's there's be. dangers guys there are always some danger i mean your involved. actions also come into play i think like I'm sure that kid who got rounded up was not doing something good over there right to get for them to come back and look for him yeah that's you know if you don't do anything bad you're usually kind of safe that's what yeah. i think the next question is from faith hall is there anything paranormal that has happened to both of you both mm. of us no nothing that's happened to both of us no not that I can think of. No. Just, just that whisper in my ear. But that was, that's it. No. Nothing while playing Randall Nautica yeah. though. No. Okay, the next question comes from Dan Domang. Johnny, if I'm mistaken, please correct me. Were you a sergeant? Yes, I was a sergeant. I was actually a uh, in the military. I was a, an infantry squad leader and a tank gunner while in the military and I became a sergeant or E5 when I was 20 years old in the US Army so yes and okay now we're gonna get to the personal question personal stuff <laughs> all right <laughs> we're gonna start with a really interesting question from Amy Goodman what are you guys's favorite cheese my favorite cheese. I like all kinds of cheeses. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love cheese. But I think my favorite is an extra, extra sharp 
cheddar cheese. I love that stuff. Uh, the stronger, the better. I used to buy some at our local uh, flea market, and it was it came uh, a man Michigan. from Wisconsin oh. sold that cheese, and um, it was also a man that came down from and Michigan. somebody from Michigan as well. But it was the best cheese I've ever tasted, guys. But yeah, extra extra sharp cheddar cheese. What about you? Well, no, I don't eat cheese. No cheese. No okay. cheese. If I, when I, when I will try to dabble in cheese, it would probably be mozzarella. I okay. like mozzarella. That's about as far as I'll go. <laughs> I, I mean, I'll try some cheddar too, but I'm not a big cheese person. It's mainly Johnny who yeah. likes cheese. <laughs> the next question comes from Tracy Johnson. S Johnny, since you. Since you talk about food so much, what is the favorite meal that we make? We like to make tacos a lot, just simple tacos here at home. With Spanish rice, of course. With Spanish rice, that's my favorite, you know. We also make enchiladas, different things like that, but I, I love tacos. He likes anything that has cheese involved with it, so tacos, he puts cheese on it. Yeah. On them. So, yeah. Okay, the next question comes from Bobby Nuts. Have you ever had an English breakfast or a Sunday roast? And then he, he explains, for those who might not know, a Sunday roast is meat like roasted chicken, beef or pork, with roasted potatoes, carrots, peas and cauliflower, and mashed potatoes with gravy. You're going to be getting hungry. Yeah. An English breakfast is bacon, sausage, fried eggs, mushroom, tomatoes, and baked beans. Add a few slices of bread or toast on the side that sounds good <laughs> i've never had either one of those um mainly my favorite breakfast that that i like to have is um some over easy eggs barbacoa which is uh, the meat from the head of a cow it's really slow cooked very it's tender really very very uh, juicy and tender um so it's everything around the cheeks and the face of the cow. So it's eggs, barbacoa, brains, some some brains included, cow brains, bacon, diced potatoes, beans. refried beans, and flour tortillas or corn tortillas. That is my favorite breakfast. Mm. So, but English breakfast, never had it. This Maybe one day I will. Sounds great though. And as far as the other, what was it? The roast? Sunday roast. The Sunday roast, never had that, you know, but maybe... Not exactly. I mean, we've had roasted beef before, just not... Yeah. Just not with all those ingredients. With different sides, yeah. maybe. But yeah, maybe one day, Bobby Nuts. That sounds good, yep. Yep, Bobby <laughs> Nuts. Maybe one day I'll get to visit you, man. And, and uh, we can enjoy have some, a some food over English there. English breakfast or a Sunday roast. Yeah, definitely. Twinkle Toes Tiff has a question, but several other people asked the same question, so we're going to include them. It's Twinkle Toes Tiff, Sonia Chancellor, and Michelle Johnson asking, how long have we been married? And we've been married? We've been married 23 years, guys. Very good. Thank you. You're going to, you're going to, that's good. I get some brownie points? Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The next question comes from Sabrina Black Knight, Twinkle Toes Tiff, and Heather Hauser. How and when did you two meet? You both strike me as high school sweethearts. No, not we're high not school high school sweethearts. <laughs> <laughs> but there's an interesting story on how we met. Yeah. Um, when I was in high school, I was in drill team, and my best friend happened to be Johnny's cousin. And she's still my best friend. So one weekend, so I, I've known Johnny's family um, as I was, as I was in high school, you know, growing up. Even before high school, I knew Johnny's parents. Mm -hmm. um, that's a whole different story, though. So we were at this swimming party at Johnny's aunt and uncle's house with John, with my cousin, with his cousin and his other cousins with my best friend and his other cousins and we're there we're just playing in the pool and johnny shows up to his uncle's house and uncle's house with his other cousins 
and he was alone, so I did what any young girl would do. I checked him out, right? <laughs> um, and I knew that Johnny was married, but at this point I had already known about Johnny's relationship with his former wife, with his first wife, I should say, and uh, I didn't know if they were still married or not, let's just put it that way. So all of a sudden, I hear somebody yelling coming in through the gate, and it happens to be Johnny's first wife. And she's arguing with him, and Johnny just doesn't want to cause any commotion, so they he quickly leaves with her and i just look at my best friend and i just say my cousin yeah his cousin my best friend and i just say hey whenever they get divorced let me know because it's obviously gonna happen so it'll be like hit me up and i'll be able to go out with johnny right then a few several i don't know how many years later I, I was in high school at that point you were still in the military yeah i was about 19 and uh no you were a little older probably 20. no i was 19. oh okay he was 19 i'm not sure i know i was, I was about to be 20. yeah um a few years later uh the place where i worked johnny and his dad johnny's dad had a business and uh, they came in to take care of some stuff that they were doing there and Johnny's dad sat down to talk to me because he knew who I was um, Yeah, he knew who I was so I asked about Johnny and his wife and the kids and He tells me that Johnny's single and I'm like wow. Well, this is interesting <laughs> so I want to get a hold of my best friend who at that time we really hadn't spoken much because she had gotten married and had some kids and she moved away. So I was trying to find uh, John, somebody in Johnny's family so that I could get his cousin's number just to tell her, hey, guess what? Johnny's single now. <laughs> <laughs> and I, Johnny's dad told me he's single. So that was like the juicy news. And I just wanted, just as a joke, I didn't think there, it was going anywhere. So one day I'm driving downtown and I see one of Johnny's cousins who I also knew because growing up I was with Johnny's cousin we'd go to her grandma's house and his little cousin was there and I see him and he, I say hey stop pull over and because I wanted to get my his cousins my best friend and his cousin's number so he pulls over and guess whose truck they're driving they're Johnny driving Johnny's truck and who's in the passenger seat being chauffeured around what Johnny was <laughs> so I get off and I ask his cousin if he could give me my his best friend my best friend's number so I can contact her and I didn't have anything to write on but a business card so I take the business card out and he's like yeah let me call my mom he called his mom he's writing down the number and then Johnny takes the business card and volunteers his number so that's where the the juicy stuff yeah. came in i got johnny's number there <laughs> without even having to go through my best friend and his cousin so you take over the story so from then here what happened? okay so i gave tanya my number <laughs> and you know told her to call me anytime and i think she had been trying to call me for about two weeks but not, I, not every day, two weeks. I tried a couple times. Right, a couple those times, two weeks. but within yeah, <laughs> within a two week time frame, she had tried calling me a couple times, but I never re returned her calls. He wouldn't talk to me after he gives me his number. He doesn't talk to me. Tanya, Go figure. Tanya and his was, dad tells me he's single. Tanya was wondering, you know, why why I wasn't returning her calls. So I was already gonna like just give up, give up, forget it. But the thing is, because I'm not gonna wait on anybody. Guys, anything. I had a crazy stalker type girlfriend <laughs> Talking at that about time stalkers. at that time she was so pushy and you know uh just very very uh very pushy uh girl she even proposed to me she wanted to marry me she she gave me a <laughs> ring and she said marry me now and i was like hey hey no 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 i don't want any of that i don't want to marry you 
I don't want anything to do with you. And she was, you know, uh, ins just insisting that I marry her. And I wanted nothing to do with her. So eventually I was able to break up with her. And within those two weeks. Within those two weeks. And then <laughs> right after I broke up with her, I called Tanya. And we started going out after that. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I didn't want to call Tanya while I still had a girlfriend. I wanted it to be, you know, uh, smooth with no issues. So that's why I waited so long to return her call. But, you know. But not high school sweethearts, guys. Not high school sweethearts. But once <laughs> we started going out, we, we, we had so much fun. We still do. And the rest is history, guys. Yep. That's pretty much how we met. But it's a it's a cute question, guys. <laughs> that was a long answer, but yeah, sorry about but that. But we hope you uh, enjoyed it. <laughs> the next qu question comes from Vic does stuff. What's your favorite genre of movie? Mine, I really like comedy a lot and action and horror, but but mainly <laughs> comedy would be my favorite. I, I'm definitely a comedy person. I really, I don't watch many movies often, but if I'm going to watch something, I'd want to watch a comedy. Yeah. I like to laugh. Me too. I really like to laugh all the time. I'm not much of a horror flick person. I, I'll eventually just fall asleep right away. Action just gets me anxious. So comedy is usually the, the best bet for me. So yeah, I'm awesome. comedy as well. The next question comes from Donna H. Smiles. Do you have any kids or grandkids? Yes, yes, we do. Both. Yes, we have both. We have a total of five kids. Johnny has, from his first marriage... I have two kids. Two from my first marriage. I had one... Bef I had a, a daughter before um, Johnny and I got married. And then we have two together. together yes. So it's a total of five, eight ages. Oh, that's oh, hold okay. On. And how many grandkids? Grandkids, we have six, six, six <laughs> grandkids, guys. Yes. Um, Donna H. Smile. Second question: What's your favorite holiday? Mine's Thanksgiving. My father's favorite holiday was always Thanksgiving. Mine is Thanksgiving because it's the time to be thankful, and we have so many things in life to be thankful for. So I really enjoy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I have to say the same thing, Thanksgiving, guys, yeah. for the same reasons. The next question comes from Susan Easton. What are your backgrounds? We're not too sure what you mean by our backgrounds specifically, but tell her about tell them about your. I guess education maybe and what you used to do okay um i have a bachelor's degree in english with a minor in communications uh, a master's degree in educational administration uh pr before i had my i had received my bachelor's i first worked for a bank then i worked for a doctor's office for about 10 years i went to school got an education and I became a teacher. I was a teacher for four years. Then I was an instructional coach. And then I was a, a school administrator at the district level and the school level as well. Awesome. As far as, uh, you know, me, I went to the military, you know, for, um, my contract was for eight years. I got my college fund from the military once I came out of the military, I worked at my father's business for quite a while. I would also, aside from that, I would install wood flooring as a side job when I was going to college. Mm -hmm. And um, I got my, my degree in nursing, so I was a registered nurse and I worked as a hospice nurse for almost 10 years. So those are our backgrounds, guys. Yes. Susan's second question is, is our city dangerous? I think there's dangers to everywhere. any city, mm -hmm. everywhere. Depending where you're you at in the city, I think. Nothing that really makes, I mean, it's not in the news 
all the time yeah. so I wouldn't call it a, a known dangerous city right but you know it, it's it's a nice city it's about I would or say town. our town I would say it's about 40,000 population and we enjoy it here I was born and raised here and Tanya I, I wasn't born here but I I've been raised here I've lived here since I was eight or nine years old and but you, you know, were born I was in born Michigan. in Michigan and I lived there until I was eight or nine. And then when my family, when my grandparents, um, when my grandpa retired, they came to Texas and I came with them because they raised me. So this is where I was raised pretty much. And I don't really think, I mean, there's areas in town that you don't want to be walking at night, you know, alone. Right, yeah, there's, there's but, bad parts of town everywhere. But nothing, like Johnny said, nothing that it's in the news. Yeah, it's pretty, right. It's pretty safe. Awesome. The next question is by Kathy Dietrich. What is your favorite family vacation? And I think I know what you're going to answer. I don't know, but I think I know. We we took a really uh, nice road trip back yeah. in like 2000 six or 2007 we uh, yeah. me Tanya and our two boys our two youngest boys we went from we drove from here all the way to California we went <laughs> through Roswell New Mexico El Paso Roswell New Mexico saw a lot of cool stuff there went through uh, Phoenix Arizona past the Hoover Dam yeah, went to the Vegas. Quickie Mart <laughs> in California was it in no, California it was in Vegas we stopped in the Vegas. Quickie Mart that's part of the Simpsons. Yeah. We took they, our kids there. We went to Vegas. Then we, we went to California. There. Then we went to California to Disneyland and Legoland. Legoland. That was a really awesome vacation. Yeah, it was fun. It yeah. was it was a long two weeks of driving though. Yeah, it was but it was it was worth <laughs> it. Was it was fun, yeah. There, we have some great memories from that trip. That yeah. that was like the most memorable. Because I mean you were we were on the road for two weeks and yep. we had so much stuff but it was fun yeah it we was. had so much fun okay the next question comes from Sonia Chancellor what is your favorite place to go together uh, where's that one what is your favorite place to go together our, okay. our, our favorite places to go together we like to go to San Antonio that's where we used to go a lot and we also go to Austin yeah those are our, our two favorite places to go you know yeah. it, it's it's i don't know four or five hour drive I yeah guess. about a four or five hour drive we love going there you know we haven't yeah. been there in a while but we do love going to san antonio yeah. and austin. austin yeah the, there's san a lot antonio of things is a to beautiful do. town a beautiful city to go to it's it's really nice and austin's just kind of weird fun yeah so they both have their different perks but yeah we we always would go for a weekend used to we used to not anymore but we used to go out of town get away to san antonio when we could for a weekend yeah it was yeah. always nice and sometimes austin right um the next question comes from sonia chancellor and ad hodson what is y'all's favorite color mine is black i prefer to wear black Occasionally you see me with colored shirts. This is a color I like to wear. I like to wear pinks as well. I like to wear any color, anything except for white. I never wear white and I'll never wear anything white. Johnny? Cool. My favorite color is orange. I, I love orange. Um, I do have an orange shirt and a bright yellow shirt, but my favorite color is orange. I mainly, as far as shirts, I wear mainly black, blue, gray. Yeah, army, mil the army green. Yeah, like the OD green type shade, and uh, but no white either. I just don't like white. Johnny never, never wears white. Occasionally, like when I worked, we'd have school shirts and it was white and I had to wear it, but Johnny absolutely never wears white. Yeah, I don't know why, I just don't like it, but yeah. <laughs> Okay, Sonia Chancellor has one extra question. 
What is the creepiest thing you've ever seen and where? The creepiest or what is the Oh, I'm sorry. What is the scariest thing? I'm sorry. You corrected me. Thank you. What is the scariest thing I've yeah. ever seen? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I've seen... Well, you were in a war. I saw so many scary things in, you know, in combat. But I'd rather not talk about that. But, I mean, I've witnessed some very horrific car accidents where pe many people have died. Well, he'd I, always drive from Fort Hood back down to to where we live. Yeah, and about a six-hour drive or a seven-hour drive. But I don't know. I think one of the scariest moments for me was when I was at a Taco Bell a long time ago. And I noticed a man, he got up from his table he was eating went up to the cash registers and I saw he was panicking he he was like banging on the counter and I quickly realized he was choking you know choking on some food and I nobody was doing anything so I quickly got up and performed the I patted him on the back several times and I performed the Heimlich maneuver I'm sure you hit him I hit him I hard. Choked per, I've choked before and you helped me and it's not a pat. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to hit him hard. And I was, he was able to dislodge the food. So that was very scary. You know, I'm, I'm just glad I was able to help this man because um, he was clearly terrified and panicking. He, I mean, he couldn't breathe. How so, old do you think you were around that time? Um, maybe like... We weren't together at that point. Maybe like... 20 21 okay. and it was an older man in about maybe his 50s so yeah that was scary scary just knowing what could have happened if i wasn't able to help that's the true. man yeah, that, i can see how that's very scary so yeah and i mean and i've also been on the verge of choking myself when i was young that was very scary as well uh, my grandma helped me also did heimlich on me and and was able to help me that was very scary i was crying for a long time afterwards it was a scary situation so it's something about choking really scares me as for me i guys i really don't know i can't i think maybe i try to mentally block those things i can't think of anything very scary i know choking really freaks me out too i think mm -hmm. choking freaks anybody out because mm -hmm. you don't know what to do and you can't breathe like johnny said you get to that point yeah but uh, as of something i've seen and where i really can't think of anything mm. that that i could say you know right has happened okay the next question comes from i just want to make sure i'm not missing any questions amy goodman has another question how old are you two i'm 46 i'm 48 going on going on 49 okay johnny's birthday is just around the corner well, i still have a few more months to go yeah <laughs> so yeah we're still young guys kind of very young we're, we're like halfway I'm just we're a, in the hey i'm just a baby <laughs> that's what i call him <laughs> babe i'm just a baby <laughs> yes you are my baby <laughs> that's right okay the next question comes from julie garcia do your kids or grandkids, if any, see your videos and what do they think? Um, our kids have seen our, you know, have seen our videos. They're happy for us. They just think we're too old to be doing <laughs> YouTube. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. And their eyes were too old. But one of our grandkids she loves watching our videos every time she comes over she wants to watch us on youtube she thinks i think she just thinks it's absolutely hilarious that on the same tv that she can watch a cartoon she gets to see her grandma and her daughter yeah so yeah she she's the one who wants to know about what's going on on, yeah. on youtube <laughs> okay the next question comes from latoya biddick what is your best day ever i think our best day ever is when our kids were born yeah that's our best days ever 
when the birth of our kids, the days they were born. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's, it was awesome to experience that. So, yeah. Yeah. I had surgery, so it's not like if I was pushing, I don't, you know, it was afterwards that it was hard, but that day was just an awesome day. Yeah. Just to hear them cry and see their little bodies. But one of them was pretty big. One was big and one was just right. Um, but yeah, those were us. That was a, the, my best day, or our best day ever. Yeah. Okay, the next question comes from Lisa Hi Hyam. How old are your children? Our five children. Oh, and, and Heather Elliott, I'm sorry. The question comes from Lisa and Heather, I'm sorry. Our five children, they range from the ages of... 32 and 22 years of age. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. The next question comes from Diane Rogers. Do y'all have a favorite routine y'all like to do? Could be how you get ready to random. Yeah, I was going to say that's that's a routine we like, getting ready to go play Rando Nautica, you know, getting our stuff ready. Um, it's just fun and exciting, you know to look forward to that so we love that routine and we also every now and then we like to uh, take Larry out for an evening drive just me Tanya and Larry yeah. that's another routine we like to do yeah he likes just, to get, just out, to get yeah. out for a while for a cruise you know what I mean so Diane's second question and this is right up Johnny's alley if I asked y'all to dinner and it was a potluck what dish would you bring Ooh, well I'm if it's a potluck, I would have to make something I know Johnny definitely likes. So you know there's gonna probably be cheese involved. Yeah. And something that that everybody always seems to like that I make when there is a potluck would be King Ranch casserole. Yep, King Ranch casserole guys. It's, it's really, really easy good. and it's really it's really good. Yeah. And, and cheesy. You can make it as cheesy as you want. That's yeah. It pretty much what does it have? It has chicken, of course. It has uh well you can dice it or you can just pull shred apart it. shred ch chicken. It has rotel, you can go mild or the spice you want, the medium, whatever. It has cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, it has bell chicken peppers. broth, bell peppers, cheese sour cream sour cream on top yeah and that's a what, lot of cheese a lot of is cheese. what i like yeah and cheese and, and you have uh tortillas corn tortillas that you quarter your quarter yeah so it's a it's a very good casserole and you just it you just pile things on top of you pile the, put the tortillas on the bottom makes a layer put the chicken put the cream of mushroom cream of chicken and rotel uh little mixture as the next layer S sprinkle some cheese another layer of tortillas you just keep stacking 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 put it in the oven let it cook and just so the cheese can melt because everything's already cooked your chicken is cooked by the time you shred it you already had the rotel and the cream of chicken and cream of mushroom on the stove so that you could mix it well yeah. so everything's cooked except you just want to melt the cheese so yeah. it doesn't really take long look it up guys king it's ranch king, casserole king ranch casserole yep. look it up on google, google it and you can, you uh you might can find try it on it youtube i don't know I yeah maybe on youtube haven't as looked well looked it up on youtube but it might be there it's really good trust yeah. me um okay the next question comes from steve smith Okay. What is your favorite bands? Wow. Okay, favorite Johnny. Bands. Oh, I have tons of yeah. favorite bands, <laughs> but I really like uh, Van Morrison a lot. Yeah, I like Metallica, Queens of the Stone Age. Those are three that, right off the bat, you know, that I like a lot. So. You know, I, I like all types of music. I love jazz, I like rock, I like a little bit of country, uh, some rap. Um, you like a lot of rap? Yeah, too. I just like Not a lot some. of rap. And rock, I have a lot of a lot of rock bands that I like. A lot of old school ones like Megadeth, Iron Maiden, um, you Black know, Sabbath. Motorhead, Black Sabbath, things like that. So, yeah, but the main ones, Queens of the Stone Age, Metallica, and Van Morrison. 
What about you, babe? I like all, I like a lot of music as well. Um, I'm really not a jazz person like Johnny is, but I'll listen to it because just because Johnny likes listening to it. I like Van, I like listening to Van Morrison. I've learned to like it. Let's mm-hmm. let's put it that way. Um, but it's not something on my own. I probably would have ever listened to. I'm pretty much a rock person, right? Pop, hip hop mm-hmm. type person. I like Guns N' Roses. I like Metallica as well. I like Velvet Revolver. I like Bob Seger, something my dad used to listen to that I remember growing yeah. up listening to. I like ACDC. I like a lot of not necessarily bands. Like I like listening to Slash's music. I like listening to um, a lot of independent people like Prince. I like Prince a lot. I like Madonna. I like all kinds of musicians that aren't necessarily in a band per se. So yeah. if it's limited to bands, those four would be my favorite, but I, I really like a lot of other independent musicians cool. as well. Music is something, I like Elton John a lot. Yeah. Uh, there's just a lot of musicians I like that aren't necessarily as part of a band, but you know, are still musically inclined right. and related and I like them. Um, okay, the next question comes from Juan Esteban Botero Gearlix, right? Yeah. Do you like to go fishing? That's for oh, you. Huh? I love fishing. I used to, my dad used to take me fishing a lot when I was uh, young. So I do love fishing. I just haven't gone in in quite a while. It's been years since I've gone fishing, but I do love fishing, guys. As for me, my dad used to take drag me fishing too. <laughs> so I try not to go fishing now as an adult. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the last time I went fishing was with Johnny and our boys when they were young. And since then, I don't think I've gone fishing again. <laughs> but thanks for asking that, Juan. Okay, our next question comes from... Mireya Anderson and it's kind of tied into one of our prior questions but it's it's a little different what do you kids say about your videos but are they interested in your work and do they want to be in your videos that's where it kind of takes a twist yeah okay so like Johnny said they're happy for us they think uh, that we're too old and they definitely prefer not to be in front of the camera yeah doing random how to go with this so they're just camera shy yeah okay the next question comes from diane cormier what state do you live in texas, texas. <laughs> and her second question is how many times have each of you been married johnny twice tanya once <laughs> okay the next question comes from Kim, Kim Kenyon, Tanya, what's your favorite place in the world? And I would have to say my favorite place is home with my family. <laughs> That's honestly my favorite place. Um, if I had an option of going somewhere else, once again, it would be Japan. I really want to go to Japan. Johnny, what's your favorite place in the world? My favorite place is home as well. That's my ultimate favorite place. Okay. I like being home. And the second question is, where would you both like to travel? Like I mentioned, I'd like to go to Japan. Johnny? I'd really like to go to India and Iran. I don't know, they just seem like very interesting countries. I'd like to try their foods, just experience their cultures, you know. So, yeah. And Kim's last question what are your fears or phobias? I'll let you start. Um, I I don't like heights at all, guys. And I don't like snakes either. So, you know, that would be it right there. Heights and snakes. <laughs> okay. And as for me, uh, I don't like any bugs at all. At all. I don't like bugs at all. Spiders, definitely not. Especially after what happened to Am Johnny's I a bug? hand. Am I a bug? No, you're not a bug. <laughs> Especially what happened, spiders, what happened, Johnny almost lost his left hand. I am definitely terrified of spiders. And 
I'm afraid of snakes, but as long as there's like a machete around, a machete, yeah, I have no problem with snakes. I have would have no problem yep. or a gun. I have no problem getting rid of a snake, <laughs> but you can't do that with a spider or a bug. Yeah, so. I got I got bit by a brown recluse spider on my left hand. He had and a lot of reconstructive surgery done, yeah, and the doctor almost, was able to save that hand. I almost lost my hand, guys. So, so I'm yeah. really terrified of spiders, and full and I mean heights. I'm good with heights. I'm good with most other stuff, but my biggest fear is bugs, bugs, bugs and spiders and snakes. All I right. guess. Okay, the next question comes from Latina Talk Gracie. Can Tanya and Johnny adopt me, please? <laughs> and if we could, yeah. Gracie, we would. If we could, we would, Gracie. <laughs> yes. Um, the next question comes from Total Addiction. Have you ever ex have you ever experienced a tornado or hurricane? We've both been through hurricanes. Yeah, yeah. We've I've I've experienced several hurricanes in my life. You know we've had a lot of a lot of hurricanes hit this area this part of texas and we get a lot of tornado warnings but i can't say that we've experienced yeah. a tornado no not but, really but hurricanes yeah we're in a hot spot for hurricanes here right the next question comes from laura williams what are some things you and johnny enjoy doing oh uh, we like going out to <laughs> eat me and tanya um we like having our grandchildren over to visit taking larry out taking larry out for walks or for a drive yeah you know simple things simple things that we love doing yeah so yeah the next question comes from laura williams and michelle johnson tanya what are some of your favorite foods a favorite food of mine that i used to eat and i eat very little of now is was spaghetti I, I really liked spaghetti my dad used to make it for me growing up it's something that I you know that I really like unfortunately I had some surgery done fortunately or unfortunately however you know I want to look at it but uh, now I don't really eat much I pretty much survive on on protein shakes yeah. pretty much yeah I eat very little food the next question comes from Psychopomp University and Michelle Johnson. Who is the boss in the home? I bet it's Tanya, lol. <laughs> Go ahead, Johnny. I'll, well, let you, I'll let Johnny answer it. Yeah. <laughs> I, always, I always thought I was the boss in, in the home until I realized that if mama ain't happy, nobody's happy <laughs> but no, no that's not true i think um me and tanya like to share that responsibility we, you know we go back and forth we we help yeah. each other out we balance out well together we like to, we communicate well we like to make decisions together yeah we never really make one decision without consulting the other usually yeah we we uh we just prefer to work together as a team works you know better I mean? that way for us sometimes tanya can be a little bossy at times so or can sometimes <laughs> can i can be bossy at times so it's it's just it's a shared responsibility guys that's how it works best for in our relationship yep. at least the next question comes from twinkle toes tiff sonia chancellor and michelle johnson what are our birthdays my birthday's July 28th, guys. And mine's November 21st. Okay. The next question comes from Luis Rodriguez. What part of Mexico are your families from? Uh, some of my family ancestors came from Michoacan, Mexico. Okay. That's it. Uh, the next question comes from... Michelle Johnson, have either or both ever visited London or anywhere in Europe? I have not. I was in Germany for a couple of years when I was in the military. 
Okay, the next question comes from Juan Esteban Botero Gierlegs. Do you have any pets? And yes, we do. And his name's Larry, guys. He's our little rando pup. Come here, baby. Here's Larry, guys. Yay, Larry. <laughs> it's okay, boy. He's our little rescue dog. Yes. He was homeless when I found him and his dad. He's a very nice little boy. He's a good boy. And Larry has four shout outs. Yeah, Larry has four shout outs, guys. Larry's sh shouting out for his fur friends, which are Bug, He's Star, Tiny, and a potential girlfriend named Macy May. Yeah, guys, this, this is, is Larry. Larry. This is our Randall pup. And he's a very, you can probably tell he's probably shaking. He's a very anxious dog. Yeah. He was he was probably abused by little kids because he's afraid of kids. But he's he's a really good little boy. He's a good doggy. And he's got his shirt on that says boss. Yeah. Talking about boss. <laughs> about who's the boss. He's, he's the boss. The boss. <laughs> So you can, right, boy? I'll let you close. Okay. Um, guys, that that's pretty much it for our questions and answers video. We are going to be uploading a Randall Nautica video on Sunday, just like we always do. So keep an eye out for that. Did you hear that? And uh, make sure you drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe, subscribe if you're new, yeah. click the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads. Consider this vlog number one. So, you know, this is just the start of something new for us guys. So we hope you like it. Uh, with all that said, we want to thank you for watching. <laughs> Y'all take it easy and stay curious.